Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it seems like the elite, the people that are celebrities and Hollywood types, are having a bit of trouble. Their policies are making them suffer. They're causing issues. They're um, not liking this. And uh, it's actually kind of hilarious because um, every last time that I look at a celebrity or a Hollywood figure at, at all, I immensely hate them. Not usually due to the money that they have, but because of the way they act, the way the policies and stuff that they try to push, and now it's coming to bite them in the ass. So, uh, what I'm talking about this, and what I mean by this, is that rapidly growing homeless encampments spring near up, spring near up near LA celebrity Phil Beverly Hills neighborhood, where the median home price is 3.5 million. So obviously, you know, this is just you know, a. Uh, This is just a um, rich people problem because I know for sure that I will most likely never be able to afford a 3.5 million house uh, at all. But that's okay. I don't really want one that much, anyways. I feel like I would be spending my money we spent better off somewhere else because, you know, reasons. Uh, Beverly Hills is the stopping ground of the Hollywood elite, but aspiring homeless in Los Angeles means a vagrant encampment risk spilling into the Hollywood area. Santa Monica Boulevard is a dividing line between the hills where the median house prices is 3.5 million and nearby Beverly Grove where clusters of tents have sprung up amid the department stores and green parklands. Photos taken on Tuesday which revealed trampolines, shopping carts, mattresses, and loose bedding next to busy junctions on the side walls of the wealthy suburb. So as you can see here, obviously this is all becoming homeless encampments. Pretty bad if you say so myself. Um, an estimated uh, 40,000 people are homeless in the city of Los Angeles, which has which has a population of nearly 4 million people. The Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority estimated there were around 70,000 people ex experiencing homelessness, homelessness in the wider Los, Los Angeles County in 2022, a 4% increase since 2020. In January, the affluent Sherman Oaks neighborhood just north of Beverly Hills made natural headlines after three people died on the streets in just one week. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of like the level of homelessness that is um, here in specifically uh, California and what have you. Now, there's a lot of homelessness in, um, in California in general. It's not just specific for L.A. There's a lot of homelessness and a massive problem in San Francisco to where they even have a poop app to where you get to where you get to see where all the poop is on in the actual city. And then I do know there are uh, quite a few homeless sections in Sacramento that are not great. So it's not, they don't need to make this specifically for LA, but I understand that this whole report is mostly on LA. But the homelessness doesn't just, it's just not like a main hole for LA. It is all over California. It's bad. So it's not just, you know, one specific area. Uh, it, last year, a number of residents in the neighborhood gave testimony to the city council on their experiences of homelessness as part of a discussion to address the escalating issue. Many of my peers are considering moving because my, they consider the situation hopeless, said Amy Con Conroy, who said that she is afraid to let her children play outside. Uh, recently elected Los Angeles Mayor Karen Brass on a campaign on, on claims she was going to address the growing homeless crisis in Los Angeles. She tweeted about the Sherman Oaks deaths in, at the time, writing, This is exactly why I've declared a state of emergency specifically governing the homelessness crisis as a matter of life and death. The leading cause of death among homeless people in Los Angeles is drug overdoses. Other, other leading causes include murder and suicide. Well, here's the thing with, the, uh, with, the, with this. Is that... There's four big things here that we need to consider when we're talking about um, homelessness and stuff like that. First off, is your policies that is that you that you guys are technically benefiting from the homeless people and stuff like that. You got to gain money from doing having homeless people, so you guys most likely won't get rid of that because that's your your money maker. Um, another thing is as well is that we have from the federal level, which is the Joe Biden administration, we have them having the open borders. So therefore, you have open borders, which means you probably get more homeless people from that, including the biggest threat to our country, which would be fentanyl. So that would be the drugs that will be coming in. So when you have this issue put into place, it will create more homeless people. And then when you have people dying, which will be the third one, uh, people dying because there's more drugs is because you have the one before that causing the issues. So first one is, honestly, the big problem is would be the actual policies in place. Second is... Uh, the actual amount of open borders, which is called fentanyl and all kinds of drugs come into play. And then three is that you're not doing anything to really solve the problem. 
and four, which would be the biggest thing here, which is, you know, not really related to the homer situation, but just stay there, all right? Just stay where you are at because you created this homeless situation. You uh, don't seem to realize that it's your fault because you voted for these policies. And I don't want you people coming anywhere else in, into any other state and vote for the same policies that you voted for and then have the same situation happen again. No, fix the problem that you have. Uh, because I know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to ch you're going to move, and you're going to vote Democrat, regardless of actually realizing that it is your fault that you created the situation that you are, that you're in. Between 2016 and 2021, fentanyl overdoses in Los Angeles County increased more than tenfold. Between 2019 and 2020, they increased 149 percent from 462, 1,449, or up 31 percent in 2021 and in 2014 to 1,504. Speak about the homeless. That's in Sherman Oaks, King Clark Advocacy Group, Hope of the Valley, told ABC Los Angeles. What we do see, unfortunately, is an increase in fentanyl on our streets, which has caused a higher level of overdoses. Bates told a conference in January that affluent residents in her city don't care about homeless people. They just want to see them move on or arrested. She has said she intends to get over 17,000 homeless people into housing in her first year through a mix of interim and permanent facilities. Now, from what I gathered from, you know, from this man from the California Insider was that he specifically said that the, that it's actually worse being in those uh, homeless or permanent facilities than it is being a homeless person. So I don't know if that's really going to be a solution here because this is the man that was been on the ground. Um, he said these things and stuff like that. So I, I kind of see kind of where he's coming from. Uh, similarly, California government Newsom announced last month that the state is hoping to cut homelessness by 50% in just two years and committed to providing 500 small homes in the city to achieve that. Yeah, but you also have to see that like if you're gonna have homeless people in those small homes where residents live where where that's an issue like that's kind of the problem that i have as well like you you were gonna have like i remember you guys were trying to specifically put homeless people in places uh where are their residents are are at or um putting them in hotels or, or motels and stuff like that to where you know uh, that's just the, where you would put them, and nobody wants that either, especially the people that own the motels. This is a, pro, it's a major setback to their business. In California, we are using every tool in our toolbox, you're not, including the largest ever deployment of small homes in the state to move people out of encampments and into housing, you some said. The crisis of homelessness will never be solved without first solving the crisis of housing. The two issues are intricately linked. I don't think it's just the housing issue either. Um, there are other issues that would incline that there are homeless people not just to housing, but because they just want to be homeless. So, yeah. Uh, Lodge and City Council member Joe Pascano has complained that the kids in his city have stepped over needles and human waste on their way back to school due to because of uh, those crashing out in residential areas. No child in America should be afraid to walk to school, and what we have found in Los Angeles is kids are afraid to walk to school, the Democrat said in a television interview last year. Uh, they tell their parents they have to step over needles, human waste, and deal with individuals unfortunately suffer from psychotic behavior right next to their playground area. Initiatives have sprung up to deal with the, with the crisis, including uh, Circle Active in West Hollywood, which ends individuals experiencing homelessness off the streets and into housing. All right. But here's the thing. I don't really feel bad for the elite. I don't feel bad for celebrities because a lot of them choose this lifestyle a lot of them vote for the policies that this happening to them and the reason why i can't really feel bad for people for destroying their own lives is because they are advocating for it they are pushing towards this type of insanity and now they're getting what they what they uh voted for actions have consequences and when you vote stupidly or when you do things that are inaccurate or doing just to cater to the mob or doing things just to push an agenda you get what you you get what you uh well, what you what you receive, right? Like what you wanted to advocate for, and obviously, things that I advocate for may not be the best solutions to some things, and I understand that, and I have to understand that due to the mere fact that some of my solutions may have been have set bad drawbacks. It's not okay. It's not bad to fail, right? It's okay to fail. The problem is is failing and redoing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Failing means you there was something wrong and we could try to solve it and fix the issue. You guys aren't trying to solve it and fixing the issue. What you're trying to do is try to make money off the homeless people, which has been stated over and over again that, that the cause of it was due in California. And then you people continuously to vote for things to help 
murderers get out, help homeless people stay in the streets. You're all care and acting, but when things actually come to your doorstep, you start hating it. You start disliking it. And that's the problem that I have. You people are a, are your own worst nightmare. And it's time time you guys face the accountability for your actions, which I know is very hard for you people to do. Hopefully you'll end up coming moving to my areas because I don't want you here. I never wanted you here, and now you want to decide to move because your own idiocy has proven to, to make your life and your kid's life worse. Well, until you actually start to evolve as an individual, you will always have these problems because you're too stupid to change your ways. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.